So within TD Snapcore first, uh, there's an option to mask or hide and unmask or unhide words. So there is a masked version available if you are interested in this. And this just means that I went in and did some of the front loading for this. Um, within TD Snap, there are a lot of buttons that kind of are blank. And with some of our kids that might distract them, it might not. It really depends on the, ch the child. And so you can see that by, for example, you can go into actions and you'll see how um, I'm just scrolling with my finger. Um, you'll see how there are extra buttons and there's also blank ones. And so a lot of the times I go in um, and I hide all, at least the blank ones. I also hide the ones on the second page. Um, if those are important, you can always unhide them and this is how you would do it. So for example, in the situation, um, I'm going to go in and just hide all of the buttons on that second page and maybe a couple of actions within here. So what you do is you go up to the right hand corner and you press on the pencil for editing and you'll see right under done there's a column um, and that is your masking and unmasking tool. And so the main things that I use, I don't use the first four, th four buttons um, unless you need to redo or undo things, that's the first two. Um, I don't usually copy or paste, which is the next couple buttons, but I use the little boxes with check marks in them. So the first box is one I use um, when I'm trying to hide a lot of things, um, which is that whole second page. So instead of going in and pressing each button that you want to hide, you press on um, the button that has one big box with a check mark and it's highlighted right now. And you'll see that it highlighted all of the buttons. And so you'll see this pop up and it's gonna ask, hey, do you want to do something with these buttons if it's overwhelmed because you clicked so many? And so to get rid of this big box, you go to the left-hand um, corner of the display and there's the two arrows, you press them and then that box leaves your view. And so you um, can see that if you leave it like this with all the boxes checked, and you go a couple um, pictures down to the little eyeball, which is above the trash can, um, and you click it. Right now it had um, just the eye, and so when you clicked it, it turned into the eye with a little mark across it, and so now when you click it, with, when it has that mark across it, it's gonna hide everything that you have checked. So right now you'll see it's grayed out and everything just got hidden, but you don't want to do that. You only want to hide some of those. So you click the eyeball again when it has no mark and it will unhide everything. So what I usually do is I go in and I unclick or uncheck the items that I want to keep um, on the page. And so I'm just going to go through and unclick um, a bunch of these. You can be more selective, you can be less selective. Again, we don't wanna to hide too much from our students. We wanna give them access to things. So let's say you don't want this whole giant uh, amount of free buttons to be available because then some kids just scroll. Um, so right now, when you click um, the little eye with the mark on it, it's gonna, you'll see all of them are grayed out that you had checked. And then you click done. And so you'll see now there's no way to scroll and the ones you had um, unchecked are still there. And let's say you only wanna hide um, a couple buttons and you don't wanna have all of the buttons checked at once. You go up to the editing mode again. And so right below that big box with a check in it is four little boxes and two of them have check marks. And so that gives you the ability to select multiple things out at once, but it doesn't select them for you. So let's say you only wanna hide two things or unmask two things. So in this example, I'm going to go and I'm going to hide the three um, categories because I only want to work on just the green buttons that are not categories. So I'm going to click and you'll see they'll check the ones that I just clicked. Again, you can bring this down by clicking the two arrows. And so you'll see um, right above the trash can, there's that eyeball with a little mark across it. And so that means that you can that when you click it, it will hide them. When you click it without the mark, it will unhide them. You can keep doing this for fun if you'd like. <laughs> um, and then uh, when you click done, those are going to be hidden. Let's say you want to unmask, same thing, you go to edit mode, whatever you want to unmask. If it's a lot, you'd click all of them. If it's not, you click, like let's say you want to have those visible again. So you click them, you click the little eye, they are unmasked or unhidden, and there you go. Masking and unmasking is pretty easy. 
And if you have any other questions, just ask uh, the AT specialist.